Uh, I thought he'd never leave. Let's welcome our guest. <laughs> I'm here tonight with Fox News Channel anchor Patty Ann Brown. She's so hot and bubbly that jacuzzis <laughs> relax in her. Don't bother fixing that, young lady. Wait, let me get that, let me get that for you. You just doubled our ratings, young lady. Ah, uh, speaking of casual, Michigan. Okay, let's say he's right. Should they do that? It, 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 I don't believe he's right. Well, yeah, I actually think that, that Miller's article in National Review was a bit unfair, though, too, because let's face it, every G.I. Joe uh, cartoon has a teachable moment, mm -hmm. and from what I understand, at the end of this film, they have one of those also, and the lesson is, you know, Cobra isn't actually the enemy. In fact, there's no such thing as an enemy. There's just differences of opinion, and, you know, there's no such thing as an evil dictator. There's just people who are misunderstood. So, mm -hmm. you know, there is a lesson there, and by the way, I was very upset about Norman Fell's death. Yeah, I, I was, too. <laughs> I love that, that tolerance of different points of view, uh -huh. and you're entitled to your. Right. Right. GI and Joe knowing is half generalization. <laughs> really? Yes. But are, are great for the military because they, the, one of the things about being in the military is being lonely. You're away from your family. So it kind of, at, at one point, I see the point of not having it, but it, 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 it isn't it a little bit unfair? It is. I, I do honestly feel sorry for them because it helps to decrease their isolation. But, you know, the Pentagon's social media czar. Let me repeat that. The Pentagon's social <laughs> yeah, media czar, oh my lord. It's a 12-year-old girl named Sally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Confirmation <laughs> is transmitted by Twitter, but obviously he's wrong because just today, uh, Joan Rivers tweeted, and I quote, Bill Clinton would not have gone, gone over to North Korea if the girls were ugly. Mm -hmm. This is the kind uh. of military analysis that the Marines are going to miss now. Yeah, the amazing thing about Joan Rivers. Too. Yeah. I don't even know what you mean. He was stalking <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, yes. And what happened was... I'm married, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way Bill can find girlfriend. Okay, yeah, well, that's... But everybody lies about that anyway. Oh, really? Facebook. I did not know. I, I tell the truth. All right, on that note, I'm leaving you. Okay. <laughs> Being egalitarian, they use that over and over yes. again. And you know what that is? Translation, we didn't even bother with the Middle East. <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's, it. <laughs> that's exactly what it it's is. It's true! <laughs> Why even poll them? <laughs> the husbands true. wouldn't let them do it anyway. They probably aren't allowed to read the poll. That's all it means. I know, it's so yeah. unfair. Worst in the world, but not counting all the ones that we didn't but even that know. doesn't surprise me. This is a country really about chores. It's just about being part of a team, being a good person. Well, I, I would hope that they did some kind of extrapolation because the way it looks is that they just said, okay, these are the countries where they have the most happy marriages and these mm -hmm. are also the countries where men say they do the most housework. Therefore, one leads to the other. I mean, how about that American men are just better in bed? No. Would that just be it? Oh. It's like you're a fly on the wall of my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <That's good. laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. You know, but there's, there's usually a lesson at the end of the cartoons, like, uh, you know, don't swim in a storm, don't blame your brother. So, actually, I'm not sure if that's really the moral to this movie. So don't touch Don't worry, me there. folks, you yes. can still see it. You're probably All right. safe. All right. Uh, Paul, you said... With Ken. Go to <laughs> yes. I think it's a lot more likely Ken... I think it's a lot more likely that Ken was with G.I. Joe. I, yes. Uh, Greg, you said that chore division, so while making the bed is important, being good in it isn't. According to them. Yes, according to the surveys. Some would disagree, yeah. yes. All right. I'm so clear what we're talking about. Ed Brown, Fox News Channel anchor. She's so sexy that sexism is now called Patty and Brownism. Really? Mm. Yeah, it's ah, long but worth it. Michigan, <laughs> I can't even speak. Well, I mean, the idea is to show, I mean, most babies come with bottles, and they're trying to coax people to do the breastfeeding and trying to convince people that it's natural. But uh, sex is natural, too. So should we give little boys this? No. This this is we should. Gluttony. Yes, we should. <laughs> it's just, a, I mean, you know, breasts serve three purposes. They entice a man to sleep with you, they feed the babies that result from that, and then they just prove Newton's law of gravity. But in any case, you know, <laughs> little girls don't have breasts because they're not supposed to be thinking about any of those things. They're not just it's, short adults. It's they're babies. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I did, yes, and uh, we invited all these uh, people over, and all the parents asked me, what does he like? And I said, to, foolishly, to 15 different parents, he likes dinosaurs. So he just got dinosaur after dinosaur, and the embarrassing thing is he knew all of them. Oh, it's a triceratops! Oh, it's a stegosaurus! So thank you all. He was already a little bit Hey, dorky, thanks for inviting dorky. me. <laughs> yeah. I must have lost the invitation in Greg, the mail, though. Greg, you know you're not allowed.